Hello, my name is Brayton Lydell. I'm going to be talking to you about editing. Hi, my name is Liam Peterson. I graduated Buffalo State in 2019, shortly after which I moved to LA to pursue a career in post-production. I was able to get a job at Seismic Productions, which is a trailer house company that focuses on drama. Hi, my name is Luke Mohammed, and I'm a freelance filmmaker based in Buffalo, New York. Hi, my name is Shauna Presto. I am an editor as well as a director. My name is Marcus Lazar, and I graduated with an associate's in graphic media and design from Alfred State and a bachelor's in television and film from Buffalo State. Really, I started editing video and applying effects in high school for my YouTube channel. From there, that learning experience really inspired me to take up animation as a major. That's where I learned 2D and 3D animation, graphic design, and motion graphics. And then later, when I transferred, I learned post-production for film. So that includes film editing, sound design, and visual effects. Editors really have one of the most important roles on any production, because after everything's been shot on set, it's up to the editor to then craft how it's going to be shown to the audience, which is a big responsibility. First and foremost, your main goal with editing is to get the story or idea across in the best way possible. You do this through using different techniques and your own creative ideas. I break it down really into one, knowing your editing system of choice, inside and out to make sure you're making the best use of the tools at your disposal. There are a lot of different editing programs out there. I particularly like to use DaVinci Resolve. I think it's an extremely powerful program and I just like the whole workflow and layout of it. My workflow process as an editor, it varies from shoot to shoot, but I'll import the footage and then the first thing I'll do is organize it a lot of the time by scene and then I'll comb through all of the footage. So I usually watch every single second of footage that I get. Two, developing an intuition for editing, knowing when to cut, when not to cut, uh, pacing, rhythm. These are all things you kind of develop a natural sense for as you work on your own stuff and pay attention to the editing and what you watch. When I sit down to edit a scene, I usually identify the, the centerpiece emotion of that scene and take a look at all of the different elements that I have to work with and pick out which ones will help me effectively communicate that emotion. So you gotta think about things like pacing and whether a wide angle shot is more effective than a, an extreme close up. And then three, problem solving skills. You're gonna have to teach yourself new techniques and effects to save and edit sometimes. Whether you're doing music videos, commercials, or even narrative work, editing is a fine balance between problem solving, creativity, and technicality. Whether you're editing or even compositing visual effects, you're just taking a bunch of different clips and combining them together to create something new. The only difference being that when you're editing, you place these clips side by side. Whereas when you're compositing visual effects, you take these clips and stack them on top of each other. Either way, editing is a fun way to retell the story through your own point of view. VFX, like any other department, I feel is very preparation heavy. So as long as you have a good outline, you can do anything. If you understand your shot compositions, you reference your storyboards, and you know exactly how to execute those effects in post, you're unstoppable. So a huge part of editing is sending drafts to both the director and the client and getting a list of revisions. It's really important as an editor to not get too, too attached to an edit. I have totally done that before. It's hard because you spend time crafting this thing and then sometimes it gets rearranged and rejumbled. Revision and re-editing is part of the editing process. And there's a lot of different elements at play, but I think that's the fun part of it. It's like the editing bay is your playground and you get to kind of pick and choose and play around with all of these different parts of, of the filmmaking process. I've always been into post-production. I started to learn Adobe programs early on in high school, and that's really what motivated me to, to pursue it into college, where I was able to branch out and learn how to color and do sound mixes and sound design. I was able to get freelance work at that point, but I've always been very passionate for post-production. It's not just a one and done thing. It's malleable. You're constantly working with different people and trying to just find the best arrangement of all of those elements that sticks to the director's original vision. But I really believe that if you enjoy building things and you enjoy storytelling, you are going to have a lot of fun as an editor. I'm happy to help anybody who's curious and learning more about the craft. If there's any way I could help anyone who is also aspiring to be in the post-production world, I'd love a chance to help them out and teach them and guide them.